And I think that it's an ironic fact that Ahmed Chalabi, uh, who was one of the chief promoters of the, um, uh, of the intervention in Iraq, uh, uh, has become a kind of a go-between uh, between Iran and the Iraqi government. And yes, there absolutely is, is going to be uh, uh, a rapprochement between a Shia-dominated Iraq and Iran. And I think, again, it depends on how a president plays his cards, uh, particularly if he can find some common interest between the Tehran authorities and the Baghdad authorities who share uh, a common interest in preventing a civil war, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and I think that uh, Tom Friedman had a column that I liked a lot this morning in which he said that the collapse of oil prices has given the Americans greater leverage in dealing with Iran than they had before and that the, the rabid nationalists there may be in a, in a more flexible mood uh, when the new president comes in. I think also uh, in the 1980s war that the Iranians fought with the Iraqis, the Iraqi Shias, uh, nationalism trumped religion. And they, they were loyal to the Iraqi government, and many of them fought. I mean, a lot of the lower ranks were, were Shia. And so, I, but I think where you'd have to worry is if we leave and there is a, some sort of a civil war, then the Shia are going to have to look to Iran because the Saudis will be behind the Sunnis and the Turks will want to invade northern, uh, northern Iraq uh, and sit on the Kurds. So I think then, then you're looking at uh, uh, a uni unity between the Iranian Shias and the Iraqi Shias. I mean, who else are they going to look towards? 